Father, hear our prayers this day for Aaron and Austin, who are to be united in marriage before your altar. Give them your blessing. Strengthen their love for each other. Amen. Amen is the most important word you will offer during the ceremony. Amen means whatever we just said may be so. If your amen is strong, what we've asked for, they'll get. <laughs> you said, it is not good for a man to be alone. Let us make him a partner like himself. Call down your mercy on me and on her and allow us to live together to a happy old age. They said together, amen, amen. Austin and I have been engaged for over 15 months. <laughs> to put that into perspective, Facebook had about 800 million users when we got engaged, and now they have over 1.2 billion. You know, this year especially, my entire social life has revolved around Austin and Aaron. We've done the engagement party, and the wedding shower, and a bachelor party, and pick out your tux day, and uh, Stanford football parties. We've done Austin's birthday twice, I think. Needless to say, we've had an ample amount of time to plan this weekend. Throughout the whole process, we have envisioned how the florals will look, how the band will sound, how the ceremony would go. However, I never really thought about how it would feel to be surrounded by my favorite people in the world during such a special time. As much as I would love to believe this weekend is all about Austin and me, it's not. It's not at all. It's about you guys and the roles you played in helping us be the people we are today. Through your examples, you helped Austin and I find everlasting love, so thank you. You've made me so incredibly happy these past seven years, and I am honored to marry you today and be your wife for all the days to come. As this weekend whizzes by, we must remember that it is not just about our love, but it's about a lot of our family's love and the roles they have played in helping shape us into the two people um, that found everlasting love. I wish so much your mom was here today. She would have been so happy for the two of us. As much as I miss her each day, I feel lucky because I get to see a part of her in you every day. Uh, and I think that's one of the many reasons why, why I fell in love with you in the first place. You have her uh, vivaciousness, her curiosity, her charisma, and her charm. She raised you into the man of her dreams, and I wish I would have uh, thanked her for giving me the love of my life. She's without a doubt looking down from heaven and with the biggest grin on her face I've ever seen, and couldn't be more proud of both of you. What we did was, uh, on my 25th anniversary, I gave uh, Kathy a different uh, wedding ring, and I decided uh, to take the stone out of that and make a little pendant for you. Um, so when you wear this, what I want you to do, of course, is think about her and, and uh, all the love that she had for you. So, you're welcome. We're here. <laughs> we gather today just to give thanks to Almighty God that we are loved by God enough that he's given us, Austin and Aaron, that we see God's love real in the two of you. So, are you ready to enter the sacrament of marriage? Yes. yes. We practice that, very good. I invite you to join me at the kneeler. Oh, you're gonna make me cry. <laughs> How are you? Good. How was the morning? It was good. Let's talk about that kind of stuff before I cry. Okay. <laughs> the morning was good. I had an yeah. omelet. Yeah. How was your morning? It was good. If you come here freely, without reservation, to give yourselves to each other in the sacrament of marriage. Yes. Will you love and honor each other as husband and wife for the rest of your lives? Yeah. I will. Will you accept children lovingly from God and bring them up? according to the laws of Christ and his church? Yes. Yes. You know, we were just thinking about daughter's softball and academics. That's all it was. And then we're reading on this sheet that they gave us at Stanford. It says 65% of Stanford grads marry Stanford grads. And we didn't want to hear that. I mean, we just we were just thinking softball, softball, softball. We, we didn't meet Austin until Aaron, um, Aaron got hit by a foul tip, hit the orbital bone, went to the ER, we took her back to the hotel. For some reason, I had to go to Walgreens, get something, and I come back in, and there's Austin holding Aaron's hand. And, you know, I, 
that was it. I was gone. That was all. That was all of it. But you know, it was the best thing that ever happened to us. Definitely to Erin, but definitely to us too. To accurately sum up how I define Erin is simple. She is, quite frankly, the best person I know. <laughs> <laughs> um. She is, quite frankly, the best person I know. It's true. She is the most fun, the most carefree, the most sincere, the most loyal, and the kindest person I know. So much of her, so much of this character can be attributed to so many people in this room. We honestly didn't think that all of you could make it. So we are just, it's unbelievable. I mean, think about it. Over almost this entire room, over 100 people flew into Houston to watch us get married. It's an unbelievable feeling. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I, Austin, take you, Aaron. I, Aaron, take you, Austin. For my lawful wife. For my lawful husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse, for richer, for poor. In sickness and in health, until death do us part. Until death do us part. Uh, the, the priest today said that a, uh, a marriage is between a man and a woman for better and for worse. Austin, you couldn't do any better. And Aaron, you couldn't do any worse. <laughs> I'd like to propose a toast. I expected that you would be the first to marry after meeting Austin in 2005, and I'm thankful because now my mom can finally relax and stop asking Karen and I questions. And also, thanks for going so big that when Karen and I do get married, we'll have just enough to um, have a celebration in the basement of the petroleum. <laughs> no, no, don't touch him. What are you doing? Get more of your arm. Get more dress. Slide under a dress. There you go. Just like we practiced. Aaron, take this ring. Austin, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Should I read this out loud? Well, I just love that it's typed and he signs it, by the way. It's like a corporate letter. Dear Aaron, can you believe after seven and a half years of dating and 15 months of engagement, the big day is finally here? I remember the first time I introduced you as my girlfriend, how proud I felt that this beautiful, intelligent woman was the person I was introducing. I remember, I remember getting, getting butterflies, butterflies when, I got, when I got to introduce you as my fiance. And I'm so excited that for the rest of my life, I get to introduce you as my wife. So thank you, Aaron. Thank you, all of you. Let's have some fun. Amen. Amen. It is my privilege to present to you Austin and Aaron as husband and wife. Kiss.